Uh, it's the Rube Goldberg effect. The Rube Goldberg effect. This is the Rube Goldberg effect. Uh, it's the Rube Goldberg effect. The Rube Goldberg effect. It's a matter Rube Goldberg machine, which hopefully most people know what that is. It's um, sort of those really complicated machines made out of everyday objects that do a simple task but there's a lot of different parts. And it's, um, I mean, I hate to sound stereotypical, but it's kind of like a metaphor for the movie because these girls who try to build one of these things for a physics project, the, and, it's, and the whole story ends up being this very complicated thing, trying to do simple tasks. Okay, rolling, scene 12 take three, and action! And cut! <laughs> my name is Andrew Marshev, and my role in the production is various. Um, I share the directing duties sometimes with Ham, so we do it half and half. Um, my interest in film is a lot in the sort of the cinematography aspect, so that will sort of suggest kind of interesting shots a lot of times. But you know, like everybody else in the movie, we don't have one specific set role that we can assume. We do a lot of other different roles a lot of different times, depending on who can come, who can't come, and what needs to be done. Uh, my name's Cameron McLoogie. Um, I am the screenwriter and the director, and um, pretty much me and Andrew switch off directing, but I pretty much just like have a good eye for what's going to happen and what needs to be said. Yeah, I, would like to start this year. I am Dana Rogers, and I'm the producer. Uh, I'm Tucker Corey, and I'm doing camera work and editing, and I'm also taking part in the sound, making the soundtrack with Evan Lincoln. I'm Evan Lincoln, I'm editor, I do some camera and sound work, and I'm also scoring the movie with Tucker. You know, I just like everything about making movies, just like the nitty gritty parts of the, um, you know, even just the standing and waiting around, like even the unpleasant parts just make me laugh because there's no other work that's like it. It's just very, yeah. I think the best part was um, editing. I, I love the editing. And uh, when you get good shots and you can put together seamlessly, it looks great. And it's a good result and it makes you feel great. I don't know. I kind of like just like the chaos of all of it and figuring things out and just making it work and like. Then, like, out of nowhere, it'll go right. You, you get to be out of the way. Things are going totally wrong. You give us. I have to say, my favorite part is once you get into the editing room and start putting things together and seeing how well everything came out. Um, I enjoy working on the music and also doing stuff in the editing room. We are rolling camera, scene 12B. Um, all quiet on the set. And action! It's a long story. Uh, I don't think my boss would like that very much, uh, unless it benefits this place. Uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, well, uh, you know, he did say I was in charge while he was gone. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, you know, if hypothetically I uh, let someone else take charge of this place for a while while I hypothetically go visit my girlfriend, then they could put, hypothetically, anything they want on the hypothetical counter. Oh, an hour, maybe two. One hour, then we're yeah. Oh, um, we're having a premiere at the Latches on the 21st of June. Latches Theater, June 21st at 4 o'clock. You can see it at the Latches so on June 21st at 4 o'clock. Um, we're going to be showing at the Latches on June 21st at 4 o'clock. The Latches, June 21st at 4 o'clock. It's going to be really good, so you should come see it. <laughs> it's funny. It's going to be great. Really good for a low budget movie, a no budget movie. Um, yeah, it's just made by teenagers for a class, and it, it's great. Um, it's gonna be a wicked picture. <laughs>